Hi, my name is Neetu Sahagal and I'm back with the weekly tarot and angel guidance for the week of 20th to 26th of October 2014. So let's see what this week has in store for you. So for the tarot guidance, I'm going to use the Osho Zen tarot cards. So we start shuffling the cards. Holding the intention of finding guidance for the coming week. 20th to 26th of October and here we go pick three cards and no matter what cards you pick they are always the perfect cards so the first card is silence this is the major arcana card number uh, 17 Silence says that um, this is a, uh, the, this this is card this is the card for Monday and Tuesday. This card says that uh, this week uh, the issues that you, most likely you would have to deal with are about expressing yourself, are about you know doing things that really uh, that really interest you, which feels right for yourself when you feel good about doing it, about expressing it. This card also says that in your relationships or wherever you are relating with people, not just the personal relationships, any kind of relationships, it's important to express what you really feel, what really comes from deep within you. If you hold back things, you know what's right and what's wrong. There's no question about not knowing that. But the thing is, if you do not express yourself, you are doing a disservice to yourself as well as to people whom you are relating with. So be honest with yourself, express yourself, do what feels right for you. That's the beginning of the week for you. The next card is Tree of Water, that's Celebration. Uh, celebration card says, uh, this is for Wednesday and Thursday, it says that um, now that you know you have begun to express yourself, it's time to start celebrating little moments in life. You don't have to wait for a huge event to happen to celebrate or to feel good about yourself or your life. Life is about celebrating each and every moment. Also, it's about you know being with people and um, working with them, dealing with them, sharing with them. Water, three of water. Water is about sharing. Three is about communication. Communicate. Even the first card told you to communicate. This is time when you come into the, the, the social get-togethers. You get to communicate. And Thursday is also time for Diwali, which is a huge Indian festival. It's a festival of lights, of, um, of illumination, of gifting, of get-togethers. This is a time you get to celebrate. Don't hold back. Work can wait. Life cannot. Go ahead, celebrate. And the final card for the week for Friday, Saturday and Sunday is nothingness. It's a major arcana number five. This card says that now that you have traversed this path of, you know, learning to express, building better relationships, knowing what you want out of your relationships, this is a time on the weekend when you would sit down and reflect on your life. What is it that you want now? If you're feeling lost by any chance, this is a good time to actually um, go deep within and know what is it that you would really like for your own life. Would you like to take a different direction or to keep going in the direction you are going? Or would you like to, to opt for a shift? How would the shift happen? Let it be, let it, leave it to the universe. The thing is, you need to be sure where you want to go. So if I put all the three cards in perspective, the week begins with silence, which says it's a beautiful time. You know what's right. You know what's not right. Have the courage to speak up. Speaking up and communicating will build better relationships. And the next card for the week is three of water celebrations. It says that the more you communicate, the more you connect, you begin to understand the essence of life. You begin to understand life is not just your daily routine or your mechanical life. Life is also about sharing and connecting with people, about celebrating the little moments. It, life is in little moments rather than in huge events. And the final card, nothingness, says that 
um, towards the end of the week, you would be in a situation or you would be in a position where you want to, you know, find a new meaning of life. You want to know what's really going on. Where do I want to go now? What is it that I would like in my life? Now that, you know, I realize life is much more than what I thought. What is it that I would really like to do? So it will be a time of soul searching, finding meaning. And the coming new moon in the week would be um, during the Thursday, on the Thursday would be a very good time to plant seeds for what you want in the future manifestations. Because new moon times are for manifestations. Now we move on to the, uh, to the um, angel guidance. And I'm using the Archangel Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue this week. So we hold the cards, we shuffle them, waiting for a guidance from the angels for the coming week. And if cards pop out of the deck, it's okay. It means it's a special message from the angels that they really want you to pay attention to. So, but if more than one card pop out of the deck, means you need to calm yourself down, probably thinking too much. So here we go. Wow. This is like the perfect card for this moment. It's Life Review by Archangel Jeremiah. Archangel Jeremiah says, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Um, this is a time again, um, for a lot of people, this is probably time of new year. This is time of new beginnings. This is time of endings. And when endings and new beginnings are happening, it is a good time to take inventory, to take stock of life. What has gone good? What has gone not so good? Where is it that you want your life to go to? What would you like your life to be like? How would you like it to be? And if there are any learnings, what are the learnings? Where would you like to go? What, what learning would you like to use in your life? What are the events that you want to hold on to? And what are the events that you want to let go of? If there's anything to forgive, anything for which you need to be forgiven, anything. This is a time about, you know, taking inventory, taking stock of your life. Now this has happened in the year. What do I want for, the, for, for my next year to be? So take a life review for yourself. Have the soul searching and ask angels for guidance for how you want to live your life for the next coming few days, months and years. Signing off on this note, hope you have a beautiful week ahead. Take care, enjoy, God bless.